In this lesson, I will give a more detailed description about the features and functions of the application JClick Player. It is important to remember that the JClick program is composed by three applications, which are needed to run the program. However, in this lesson, I will focus on the characteristics of JClick Player only. As it was said before, the JClick Player is the main application of the program and is used to see and execute the activities. I am going to open one of the activities that I have previously designed so I can explain better different features that relate the environment in which activities are displayed. With the JClick Player, we can see and execute the activities right from the hard disk of the computer, without being connected to the Internet. It uses a homogeneous format to present the activities in which you can appreciate different areas. The main window, the game window, the message box, the buttons, the counters, the status bar, the skin, and the menu bar. The main window contains all the elements. It can be different colors, textures, and have images in the background. For this activity, I color the main window aquamarine. Now let's talk about the game window. The game window is the area where the activity takes place. It shows the content of the panels. It may contain one or two panels, depending on the type of activity. And this can be situated anywhere inside the main window. The message box. It normally appears at the bottom of the screen. The activities can have three types of messages an initial message, which appears at the beginning, a final message, which appears when the activity has been done, and a message indicating an error, which can appear when there is a time limit or a limit to the number of tries. These messages may contain written text, images, sound, animations, or a combination of these resources. Now let's talk about the buttons. The buttons allow you to access different functions, go back or forward to the previous or following activity, repeat the activity, ask for help to solve it, access additional information, or see the user information. The buttons can have different aspects and be situated in different places according to the skin or visual environment, which JClick is using. The counters. The counters indicate the number of correct guesses or tries and the time taken. They usually appear to the right of the message box. When the activity is being created, you can decide if all the buttons or counters need to be active. The status bar at the bottom tells you if the activity is active or if it is loading. To the right, an icon tells you the same about the sound. By clicking on this icon, you can temporarily activate or deactivate the sound. The skin or visual environment is the frame wherein the activities are shown. There are several skins to choose from which differentiate in design, color, 
aspect and the situation of the buttons and counters. The jet click skin may be chosen by the user, but if the activity has a pre-designed skin, this will be maintained. The menu bar, which is always at the top of the main window. It allows you to access the different functions to use the activities and to configure the program. This will conclude my explanation about the characteristics of the JClick Player application. In the next video lesson, I will show you how to start a project with the JClick Author application, incorporate media files to the library, and show you some of the activities that you can create with the JClick Authoring tool. Thank you very much. Goodbye.